So you're playing mounting busting titan of a colossus, however all is not as prescribed. You run into combat and you go down quicker than a storm. You look at your colossus crouching on the floor and you're like... What the fuck? Well, rest easy as this will not only be the build that will have you running through like a real colossus, but also give you the best options for max build with and without aid. Not only this, but Colossus is one of the classes that is capable of almost instantly getting their super back with some help from the Stormy, synergizing perfectly. If you find this useful, a like, subscribe, and your sharing of this video would be greatly appreciated. Rightio, on with the video. So let's start with the weapons. For Colossus, I like to go mid-range and close range. You would think I would go shotgun, but the grenade launcher works just so much better. I use the torrent for the autocannon and a bombardier for the grenade launcher. The grenades can bounce, gaining effective range or exploding on enemy contact. It's highly effective. The autocannon is just for mid-range combat. It's slow to wind up and does have bad recoil, but if you can use it and control it, it's definitely a top tier weapon and the stagger that it provides is priceless. It's really a good auto cannon. Just the start up is a bit slow. The alternatives to this is a bolt action explosive sniper. It does a lot of damage. Obviously this is going to be favoured more on a ranger, but it is an alternative if you prefer sniping. And if you really don't care for any range, replacing the auto cannon with a shotgun is also a good option. But for me, I prefer to go with an auto cannon and a grenade launcher. So this next section I'll split into two options. The first option is how I like to call it, the army of one, completely self-reliant in priming and detonating their own enemies. For the heavy assault launcher, you want to use flamethrower. The alternative for this is acid splitter, which is equally as good and has its own benefits, especially increasing the damage taken to the enemies. The range of the flamethrower is pretty intense and is a constant use of the meter till it depletes which is also why the flamethrower is recommended. On top of this, it primes the targets with a flame and dot effect, something the acid splitter will not do. The ordnance launcher, you want to go with the lightning coil. This is a self-pulsing auto-targeting attack that attacks nearby enemies. Its range is not great, but does a ton of damage. And with the combo effect of Colossus being AoE, you're going to be a slaughtering machine. But... What if you have a storm in your party? Yeah, one of those pesky things. The masters of AoE priming, right? Then you go what I like to call full commando double D. For the heavy assault launcher, you can go with siege cannon or railgun. Both are viable options with the railgun having the option being able to pierce armor if that's something you feel is needed. For the ordnance launcher, you want to go with the high explosive mortar, which is my go-to option. Or if you want to go easy, the coil lightning also works here. However, if you want those big explosions and massive detonations, you want to go with the high explosive mortar. It just looks a lot more fancy and just looks greater in my opinion. And it's an AOE, so in my opinion, it's just a better option if you're going to double the option. So that's the two options there. You've got the army of one and the full commando double D. You have the choice of both, depending on how you want to play and your party composition. If you're going with a match made group, then I would suggest going with the army of one. However, if you've got three other friends and you're going to be synergizing well, then I would go full commando DD so you can combo off everyone else's things. It's just that good. This next segment of the build is probably the most important aspect, your mods. And do not underestimate this when I say the most important aspect. You want to find and equip the following mod. Structural Reinforcement, which gives you 1044 health and 870 armor. This is a massive boost to your survivability and you want to stock up on these. The alternative is Heavy Assault Augment, which gives you 870 health and 348 armor. As you can see, the health is pretty decent, but the armor is not so good. Armor is essentially your shield durability here from my testing and believe you and me, your survivability will increase exponentially. You'll go from not having these mods on and pretty much being taken down within seconds to being able to run in, put your shield up, take a ton of damage, put it down, take the things you need to do, and you can sustain incoming damage for a lot longer than you could before. Then you can put your shield back up, 
and retreat if you have to to recover your health. It's really night and day between the two sorts of colossuses. So if you're having a lot of trouble staying alive, if you're having a lot of trouble sustaining hits and going down really quickly, look for these mods, get them, equip them, and you'll notice the difference immediately. Trust me. The final aspect of this build I want to go through is support, and this will totally depend on your party and your playstyle. I personally prefer to go with Battlecry to have enemies face me, and this is especially useful in the Stronghold boss, exposing its weak points to your other three teammates to rain carnage. Alternatively, you can go Shield Pulse and give your teammates a 33% defensive barrier to reduce incoming damage for a set duration. Either is good, and ultimately a preference choice, but for me, I prefer Battlecry simply because I have the ability to gain the attention of all enemies within range and have them look at me, giving my teammates the opportunity to deal as much damage in that window as possible. Now earlier I mentioned that the Colossus was an ultimate regeneration machine, especially if you had a storm in your midst. Well here is a few clips showing you exactly how OP this can actually be. That character moves so fucking fast, it's unbelievable. There's a ninja. You should try him next time, maybe. Next. Ninja! Do you guys have anything? Oh, I'll try to. Have a. Cross them. You gonna freeze again? Nah, I use one strike. I mean that's pretty damn OP, right? That's just crazy regeneration. Literally a wave of enemies, I have full ultimate back. This is damn awesome. Synergy at its finest. And with that comes the end of the build video. I hope this was useful and will give you more options going forward on how you set up. If you found this useful, drop a like, subscribe. It shows me that this was indeed useful to you. If you have a different build, leave it below and share it, more the merrier. If you found this build video really useful, share it. That way more people can realize how awesome Colossus really is with a tiny bit of work. If you'd like to see other build videos, let me know in the comment section below as I start working on those throughout the week. Thanks for watching and sharing and remember to always remain legend.